The Canadian Multi-Mission Corvette Project, CMC for short, represents a pivotal initiative by the Royal Canadian Navy to replace its aging fleet of 12 Kingston-class maritime coastal defense vessels which have served since the 1990s and are approaching the end of their operational life. Launched in 2023, the project, sometimes referred to as the Continental Defense Corvette, seeks versatile, multi-role vessels capable of conducting missions such as maritime surveillance, anti-submarine warfare, search and rescue, environmental response, and maintaining Canada's sovereignty in coastal and Arctic waters. While specific budget details remain undisclosed as the project is in early planning stages, estimates suggest costs could run into billions for a full fleet replacement, with the RCN aims for vessels that are Canadian from the core, prioritizing domestic construction to bolster local industry and ensure long-term sustainment. Several designs have emerged as frontrunners for the CMC project each offering unique blends of versatility, endurance, and combat readiness. Here are the key specifications and weaponry details for the top candidates. The Vigilance-class vessels, proposed by Vard Marine Inc. through the Team Vigilance Consortium, including partners like Ontario Shipyard, Thales Canada, and others, serve as a customized solution for the Canadian Multi-Mission Corvette project. The Vigilance class is a modular OPV based on a modified VARD 7072 design, with a length of approximately 80 meters and a displacement of 1,200 to 1,300 tons. It features a maximum speed of 21 to 25 knots, with a range of 5,000 nautical miles, making it well-suited for extended patrols in challenging environments like the Arctic. The core crew is around 20, with capacity for up to 45 personnel depending on mission requirements. Weaponry is flexible and mission-oriented, typically including 2.50 caliber machine guns as standard, with options for 12 to 16 strike-length vertical launch system cells for missiles, a 30 to 76 mm main gun, and provisions for torpedoes or anti-ship missiles to enhance combat punch. Sensors comprise the Thales NS-54 DAESA radar, tracking hundreds of targets up to 180 km for air and 80 km for surface. Key features include the SH Defense Cube system for modular mission payloads, dedicated UAV facilities with a launch pad, provisions for containerized weapons like naval strike missiles, or Mark 70 vertical launch systems, and hybrid COTS military hardware for cost efficiency. This design supports diverse roles, including mine countermeasures with remotely operated vehicles, anti-submarine warfare, unmanned surface vehicles, and rapid intervention craft emphasizing autonomy and integration with unmanned systems. According to defense publications, the CMN Naval's OPV Vigilante CL-75 Mark II is one of the potential candidates for Canada's multi-mission Corvette project. The Vigilante CL-75 Mark II and 75-meter multi-mission offshore patrol vessel offers capabilities such as long-range, 7,000 nautical miles, a heavy weaponry capacity, and the ability to operate various drones and rigid-hulled inflatable boat, which are generally in line with the expected CMC project goals of a combat-capable multi-mission vessel. Armament includes a primary 76mm Otomolara gun for surface engagements, two remotely controlled weapon stations, and provisions for anti-ship missiles or torpedoes, emphasizing versatility for patrol, interdiction, and surveillance missions. BAE Systems is a key partner in Canada's larger Canadian Surface Combatant Program, which is based on a variant of BAE's Type 26 Global Combat Ship. While the company has not publicly offered its vessels specifically for the nascent Canadian Multi-Mission Corvette project, its existing involvement in the CSC program is significant. Because the CMC project is still in early stages of defining its requirements and exploring options, BAE Systems could potentially make an offer in the future. BAE's 95-meter OPV is an evolution of the proven river-class design, with a length of 95 meters, a displacement of about 2,000 to 2,500 tons, a maximum speed of 24 knots, and a range of 5,000 nautical miles. 
It emphasizes affordability and global deployability with endurance for 35 to 45 days and space for a crew of 60 to 80, plus a flight deck for medium helicopters. Standard armament includes an automated 30mm small caliber gun for engaging fast inshore threats, 2.50 caliber machine guns, and general purpose machine guns. Variants can incorporate a 76mm main gun, Exocet anti-ship missiles, Seawolf air defense missiles, torpedoes, and decoy launchers for enhanced combat roles, along with integrated sensors for surveillance and electronic warfare. The CMC project's criteria prioritize vessels that are multi-mission capable, cost-effective, adaptable to Canadian industrial capabilities, and aligned with domestic build requirements to support jobs and technology transfer. All candidates demonstrate strong potential, but alignment varies based on size, modularity, and combat emphasis. Vard Marines the Vigilance class stand out for their robust endurance and surveillance and engagement suites, meeting needs for Arctic patrols and anti-submarine warfare while allowing Canadian modifications. Vard's partnership with Ontario shipyards could facilitate local construction. BAE Systems 95-meter OPV aligns well with affordability and proven designs, though its lighter armament may require upgrades for full multi-mission roles. Its river-class heritage supports quick adaptation and potential Canadian assembly. CMN France's Vigilante CL75 MK2 provide versatile, compact options with strong patrol endurance, but their foreign origin may challenge the Canadian-built mandate unless licensed for domestic production. Economically, adopting these corvettes would stimulate Canada's shipbuilding industry, particularly if built or modified domestically at yards like Davy or Irving, creating thousands of jobs in skilled manufacturing and supply chains while reducing reliance on foreign imports. Cost-effective designs like the Vigilance class could optimize budgets under fiscal pressures, fostering long-term industrial growth and export potential for Canadian naval technologies. Geopolitically, these vessels would bolster Canada's Arctic sovereignty amid rising tensions with powers like Russia and China, enabling robust patrols and disaster response to assert presence in contested waters. Partnerships with builders like VARD, CMN, or BAE would strengthen transatlantic defense ties, enhancing interoperability in joint operations, and supporting commitments to NORAD and NATO while deterring aggression in an increasingly multipolar world. Ultimately, the VARD design appears to be best positioned due to its balance of capabilities and ties to Canada, though final selections will depend on detailed evaluations and funding decisions.